How do different NIP words actually write? Let's take a look. Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Today we will take a look at how the individual NIP words write. We'll use the example of the online NIP units. You can buy NIP units for the fountain pens directly from online's own store. At least for many of the fountain pens and these can be easily screwed into the grip section of the fountain pen. As I said, not for all fountain pens, but for most of the higher end fountain pens. I use a piece of rubber for this and this pen from online. I'm going to screw all the nib width in here once and do a writing sample with the same ink. So you can get an idea of the different width. By the way, this is quite easy. Just remove the protective cap from the nip unit, hold it firmly and then screw it into the grip section of the fountain pen. Right off the bat, the design of the individual nips may have changed in the meantime. I don't have the full set of current nips here, but all the nips can be seen once here. Let's start with the extra fine nip. I will show you the nib in detail each time before. I do the writing sample with Gerbin Rouge Grenat. And you can see, even the extra fine nib has some flex. Next is a fine nib. The difference from the extra fine nib is quite small in the writing sample, but that's normal. There are several variations of the medium nib. I'll write with one first and then show a comparison of the medium nibs with each other. Because there are differences. And I apologize for the small interruption. I change the field converter here every time and don't redraw the ink. The broad nib. In detail you can now clearly see the wider writing tip. Like all other nibs, the writing sample shows a slight flex. In this case, the flex is quite wide with such a broad nib. Now we come to the area of the so-called calligraphy nibs. These are stub nibs. Here the point 8. This one not only has a little flex, but the stub behavior is already quite evident in the writing. The step behavior, that is, the change in stroke width depending on the writing direction, comes quite clear, in addition to the slight flex. And last but not least, the 1.8. This is already very wide. Here the step behavior can be seen very nicely. Mm -hmm. 
Now a comparison of all medium nibs. In this comparison, one of the nibs is not from an exchangeable nib unit, but the nib is also available as a replaceable nib. The first one is a simple medium nib. It is pleasant to write with little feedback. The medium nib is also available in a black version. Especially for black pens, of course, very suitable. And there's also a rhodium plated version of the medium. This one writes even smoother and with only a very slight feedback. And last but not least, the medium nib in 18 karat gold. Yes, it is an online nib. In the writing sample, this nib can be made to flex even more easily. Do you see a big difference in the writing pattern of the medium nibs? There will always be slight variations in the stroke width, but just minimal. Anyway, the gold nib is really easier to flex than the other versions. And the rhodium plated version glides over the paper more easily than the normal version. Whereas this one is already good and you can't complain. Did you know that the company online has a gold nib in the assortment? By the way, it can also be bought separately, not only in the fountain pen rows and poles. And once again the overview of the different widths. Which line width do you like the most? I hope you like this little overview. Maybe this will help you to decide for future fountain pens. Thanks for watching. As always, feel free to leave me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you liked it. See you next time.